Hi there. Hey, I wanted to show you a new Eagle Classic, a Heritage Eagle Classic that we just got in to one of, for one of our students, uh, little Timmy Everett in Minnesota. And this guitar is spectacular. This, uh, <clears throat> this has the Duncan 59s on it. And what I wanted to do is actually compare it to some other guitars that I've got, some other Eagle Classics. Now, this particular one comes with the uh, no uh, inlays, but of course it's got the side dots. Inlays are an added feature, so you get that smooth look here. But man, this thing definitely has the sound, and uh, it's just... things that that I like about the Eagle Classic the new ones um, is this bridge and the way I like to set it is with the fatter strings almost almost all the way down to the top of the guitar and the higher strings a little higher up this it makes gets rid of the floppiness of, of these strings especially since I have skinny bottom heavy tops. Now it gets a nice beautiful sound. Uh, but check this out man, look at, I'm gonna see if you can see this here. Just Now this finish is Almond Sunburst, which is kind of a vague, <laughs> I've seen different Almond Sunbursts and they look totally different. But anyway, this is it. Beautiful flame in the neck. Just a spectacular looking guitar. And I tell you what, Heritage has really got the dimensions together, man. It is just really nice. Uh, and it gives you that cool sound. Now the Duncan 59s. Get a nice, a real nice, nice sound. They're potted. So you're not going to get any click. You know, if you hear clicks, it's usually your pick hitting the fretboard. But you're not going to hear the clicks on the pickup itself. Ebony, Ebony, uh, what is this called? Pick guard. And now this particular one, uh, it comes stock with the Ebony Bridge. I must say though, I got the got it in, and when I did the setup that I like to do on these for people, uh, I wasn't happy with the uh, bridge, the way the spacing was cut, and also the radius. So I kind of took had to take care of that. But anyway, one thing about the ebony bridges, the wooden bridges, is it kind of makes the frequencies kind of. I'd like to say they're kind of like dance. It's a neat sound. They kind of, they're not all even, you know, like a, like a metal bridge. But you get a beautiful sound. And, uh, uh, So, oh, my fingernails are kind of jacked. Now, this is great action. I've got pretty low action on this. I hope he likes it. If, if not, all you have to do is just raise it up a little bit. Now, let's compare. Did you get a good handle on that sound? We're only going to listen to the front pickup anyways. Let me play you a different model uh, or let me play you a, another Eagle Classic with different pickups and a metal bridge so you can compare and contrast. Okay, hold on. Okay, here is, I think, a 1998 Eagle Classic. Now, this particular guitar has got shallower pickups, and it's got a roller bridge 
on it. Um, so we have a metal bridge. You get a little more sustain and a little evener sound, but I like the surprises of sometimes an ebony bridge. Pickup wise, is about the same to me. I don't know what it sounds like to you out there. But you still got that. Um, I think I like some of the the other the uh, middle tones of that that other one. They're all they're both great. Great sound. Okay, so here is the metal bridge with shower pickups. Not a whole lot of difference, is it? it? Really, it's the guitar, you know, that that is the difference. Let me show you another guitar. All right, check this guy out. A Golden Eagle. This one, I believe, is... Uh, 2002, something like that. Now, this particular one has got, it's called R, excuse me, HRW pickups, which are handmade by Rendell Wall uh, in here at Heritage. So I believe he, uh, he built this guitar. It was actually built for somebody and uh, he started putting, putting pickups, doing his own design. Again, it's potted. You're not hearing any clicking. This particular pickup, you know, it's a pretty bright pickup. Again, a beautiful sound. You know, the guitar is only half the thing. You know, you still got to have an amp, you know. Half the sound, or at least half, is coming out of the amp. But anyway, so it's all out of this quilter amp. And both this guitar and the other one is the old style Sunburst. So are you hearing that much difference? Now this has an ebony bridge. So that's gonna be a little different too. Not as much as uh, sustain. The necks on these are all feel superb. You know, one thing about the lighter color sunbursts, it doesn't show every little thing. It's like having a white car as opposed to a black car. You know, you have a black paint job, good grief. So hard to keep that clean. Anyway, this is a sweet sounding guitar. I can't think of anything to play. three eagle guitars boy they all sound you know they're pretty close to the same because it's all about just the total dimensions of the guitar remember one thing that's nice about heritage is 
the 17 degree headstock pitch giving more pressure on the nut uh, on this particular bridge or tailpiece you know you can't do the strings like I, I like to but it's close enough down there so it, it feels pretty good so unless you're like super particular I mean I, I hey I could gig with this guitar or the any of these three for the rest of my life and be perfectly happy I just wanted to show you, especially that new one, because I got to ship it out to Tim. And uh, there you have it. I'll talk at you later. Hey, if you want to talk guitars, just give me a call sometime. You know, part of being a good player is being also a, being able to work on your guitar, get it so you can play it great, you know, so you're not taking it into the shop all the time and stuff. And... So you got to be able to do the work and tweak it to make it the way you like it. So anyway, you can start with a good axe, learn how to maintain it, maintain that action, change the strings, take care of it, and you'll be one happy camper. Okay, adios. Mm -hmm.